It's virtual. Good morning, everyone. Welcome, 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 welcome to Marking Period 2, second quarter of the year. First, I want to say awesome job. Congratulations on making it through your first full quarter of virtual hybrid instruction in this new model. But we got the call that for the next two weeks, we will be virtual. So thank you so much for the great feedback in the reflection videos. That was so cool. Thank you for participating in that. You gave me some good information. Remember, if marking period one didn't go the way you had hoped, maybe you didn't get as many points as you want, put it out of the mind. Put it on the shelf. Here it is. Leave it there. If you are having trouble adjusting to the hybrid or all virtual model, please talk to someone, reach out to your counselors or your teachers, send emails. If you notice on the side, I have new office hours this marking period. Please set those up if you need a little extra help or ask a question, I'm totally cool with that. I want each of you to know that you are a valued, cherished member of this class. I am so glad each one of you is here with me learning about woodworking and building things. I'm excited, I hope you're excited. Let's get into the second marking period. But before we do that, I wanna give you an update on the gas line work. Remember I was telling you about that last time? The crew showed up actually while we were at school. The pipe they did in the spring, the video about that is below, just runs down the main street. And then in certain intersections, it goes from that main pipe out to the houses, left and right uh, off the pipe to the, in the street. So they did this place and they did across the street. So they spray paint out where they're gonna dig because they have to go down to get to the pipe. And it's pretty far down in the street. So you see they come in with this gas powered, huge circular saw. They cut out the asphalt in the road, then came in with a machine and pulled up the top layer of all that asphalt, which is packed down really hard. And then they got to the dirt. And then they dig out all around where the pipe is. And you can see, if you look closely, where the steel pipe was for the old gas line and where that black and yellow plastic pipe is for the new gas line. Pretty cool how this has been around for a long time running these pipes, but they have a totally new way of doing it now where they have that plastic pipe and they use this machine that like heat melts the two pieces together to a perfect weld so it doesn't leak anywhere. And they put in the intersection and run it under the ground. They don't have to dig up our yard. They just dig in the, in the street and then go to where the gas meter is and run the pipe under the under the ground right to where the meter is, and then they tie it all in together. I didn't get a chance to talk to the guys to get more specifically about what they were doing out there, but the whole process was pretty cool. And the sad part is it was pouring with rain, so they had to set a little tent up and uh, keep the water from going in the hole, because it was a huge hole in the road. And then after they did all the work, they fill it back in with dirt, and then they bring in sand, and then they pile in all the sand, and they take this big machine with a thumping pad, and they pack it all down real tight. And then they had a truck come, and they waited a long time for that truck. And that truck came with the asphalt in the dump truck, and they pour it out. And then with the rake, they smooth it all out. But it was raining, and it was cooling really quickly. So they were scrambling around. It was pretty fun to watch. But anyway, now we have a fixed hole in the ground. It's all patched up nice and pretty. They have new gas lines running to our gas meter. They shut the gas off while they did the work. They turned the gas back on. But they're doing all up and down the road. We've seen them work. But that was when they did right in front of our house. We got a nice couple pictures and I wanted to share with you. Uh, if you have gas in your house, you will probably have a similar setup. So what do we have on the menu today? First week of the new marking period. Check the module. It will be marking period two module. Woods one. First thing we got to do is get to know all the tools in the shop. I want to start moving into producing some things. We're going to be going through the different types of tools we have in the shop. Cutting tools, drilling or spinning tools, and smoothing and shaping tools. So we're going to check all those out this week. Woods two and three and four, we are going to be designing, brainstorming a step stool project that's going to eventually get to the CNC machine. So please check the module assignment to get that process rolling. I hope you are doing well. I hope your families are all doing well. I hope you're feeling good during this virtual environment. And I will see everybody next time. Remember, Morristown cares about you. I care about you. Be excellent to each other.